Hi, I'm Aslam from the OneSheet team. Today I'm going to show you how to hack traffic times using Arduino. So you will need a cheap transparent clock, an Arduino, a one shield, 12 RGB LEDs, jumpers and wires, and a 9 volt battery. First we're going to solder the LEDs in parallel and hook it up using double face tape to the back of the clock. Now I'm going to give you a quick overview for the code and you can check the full instructions from the link below. First, we're going to include the one shield library, the internet shield and the clock shield. Fetch the distance matrix API and grab the request URL. The URL request must have some parameters like the origins, destination and your API key. Add the origins and destination value in the URL as parameters. Grab the instant time and add it to as a parameter. Then check traffic status every 5 minutes. So, if the traffic time value is more than 30 minutes, the clock lights will turn. Hi, I'm Stephen Cass for IEEE Spectrum, and this is the Air Theremin. <laughs> Lately, I've been on an ongoing quest to make music, even though I have no ability to play a musical instrument whatsoever. So the wheels in my head really started turning when I came across the $140 Terra Ranger 1 range finding sensor. It works by timing the returns of infrared pulses. And when I saw this, I realized I had a chance to build something resembling an old school theremin. The basic components are the range sensor, some basic interfacing electronics, an Arduino Mega, and my trusty old Casio SK5 sampling keyboard from the 1980s. I started out by hooking up the Terra Ranger 1's transmit and receive lines to the Arduino Mega. The Mega then translates different distances into different pitches corresponding to different keys on the keyboard. Originally, I started out mapping dis What's better than a jack-o'-lantern? A droid-o'-lantern. Best time of the year, Halloween. Let's start with the servo. Yeah. I'm gonna upload and let's watch it to see if it works. It's awesome. So I want to get the head moving. Glue this here, and glue this here, and we're going to have a moving BB-8 head. And you'll be useful again, Fox. I'm Tyler Folsom. I teach 
embedded systems in the CSS department here. One of the keystones of our project is this tribe. The course, we use the Arduino microprocessor. I'm showing that a simple processor like this is enough to get autonomous operation. The circle test is really a demonstration of more elaborate control than simply sending the radio signals to the vehicle. And the reason why this is a really good step towards pure autonomy because it can execute a method which means that it can take in variables and it can 